What's going on plugins? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about Amari Bailey and UCLA basketball. Before we get into this video, make sure you drop a like. And if you're new here, sub to the channel and become a part of the family. Now let's get into the video. Last season, UCLA's men's basketball team went 27 and eight in the regular season. They went all the way to the final in the Pac-12 tournament, but lost to Arizona. And they made it all the way to the Sweet 16, but lost to UNC 66 to 73. UCLA was playing well through March Madness. They just lost to a good team and UNC ended up making it all the way to the championship game. Fans probably thought UCLA was going to go all the way once they made it to the Sweet 16, but the future is bright with this 2022 recruiting class. They have a superstar caliber player in Amari Bailey who will be a key piece of the success this season, but can he lead UCLA to the Elite Eight or to a national championship? Drop your opinions in the comments plugins. UCLA's 2022 recruiting class is ranked 12th and they have some other talented prospects such as a Dembona, Dylan Andrews, and Abramo Saka. Let's take a deep dive into these freshmen and see what their skill set can bring to this UCLA team. First, let's talk about Amari Bailey, who's a five-star, 6'5 shooting guard, who was ranked fifth by ESPN. He played all four years of high school at Sierra Canyon, and he was a McDonald's All-American. And his senior year, he averaged 18.5 points, 5.6 rebounds, and 2.6 assists in 15 games. On offense, Amari Bailey is an explosive athlete who knows how to get to the rim and finish. This is by far his best skill on offense. His athleticism is off the charts. He knows how to get to his spots in the paint, and he can make something happen out of nothing when he's at the rim. Defenders might think they have him contained, and he just pulls off a crazy dunk or layup. It was one play I seen he did a spin in the air to avoid a defender, and he made the layup. It's not too many players who are skilled enough to do something like that. Amari Bailey has shown plenty of times in games that he has great body control and he can make acrobatic layups and explosive dunks at a high level. And he has a solid body frame so when he's driving to the rim, you won't be able to push him around easily. He's not afraid of contact at all. He's a decent shooter who can make all the necessary shots you need a guard to make, but personally, I think he's better when he's going downhill for a dunk or layup. He can create his own shot and he doesn't do too much with the ball in his hands. He can get to a spot to make plays. I'm not sure if he'll be the leading scorer for UCLA this season because they have a lot of solid players returning so maybe his stats won't go as crazy like I think they will it all depends if they're going to run the offense through him or not if they run the offense through Amari Bailey he could put up some crazy stats but what do y'all think plugins do y'all think Amari Bailey would be the leading scorer for UCLA this season drop y'all opinions in the comments UCLA should definitely do a lot of pick and rolls with him. This can help him get to the rim, which I believe is one of his strengths. And if he can't get to the rim, he knows how to read defenses and make the right passes. He's a very underrated passer, so Amari Bailey should have an exciting freshman season. Now let's talk about Adem Bono, who's a five-star center from Nigeria. He played two years of high school basketball at Prolific Prep. He was ranked 16th by ESPN and 24-7 Sports. He was also a McDonald's All-American. During his senior year, he averaged 15.5 points, 10.5 rebounds, 3.5 blocks, and 2.5 assists per game. He was regarded as one of the best centers in the 2022 class. He's listed at 6'10", 235 pounds. For him to be that big, he's an explosive athlete who plays with a lot of intensity. He will easily be a lob threat for UCLA. All they got to do is throw it up to him and let him go get it. He has the skill set and footwork to do well in the post. He should have no problem posting up defenders in college. He's a very strong player. I see a bunch of plays where he's just pushing defenders out the way when he gets in the post. And I believe you'll be able to do that in college to a certain extent. Y'all feel what I'm saying, plugins? He has some sneaky quickness to his game. I noticed sometimes times when he's backing down his defender in the post and a blink of an eye he's already at the rim. UCLA should definitely have him in the post a lot because that's his biggest strength and he'll be able to create easy plays for his teammates. I can see some scenarios in games where he'd be dominating in the post and if that happens that would create easy shots for players like Amari Bailey. Adeem Bona should be a solid defender being 6'10 and having a long wingspan. He should be able to block a lot of shots and be a key piece for UCLA's defense. For how strong he is, his interior defense should be elite. And since he's so explosive, he should be able to outjump people to grab rebounds. I expect him to average a double-double and about two blocks per game. I'm really excited to see what type of college player he turns out to be. He has all the tools to be great. UCLA coaches are already saying he's going to be an elite prospect, so he's already getting a lot of praise from his coaches. So hopefully he goes out there and has a great freshman season. 
Dylan Andrews is a 6'3 point guard who's ranked 40 by ESPN and 44 by 24-7 Sports. He played his senior year at AZ Compass. He was ranked as the 7th best point guard in the country by 24-7 Sports and ESPN. He's a shifty guard who can create his own shot. He can perform elite crossovers and step backs. He has some elite ball handling skills. I really like his scoring ability. He takes command of the offense and he can make the right reads on the court. This is a good trait to have being a point guard. But his biggest strength to me is his ability to create his own shot. The last person in UCLA's 2022 recruiting class is Arambe Saka. He wasn't ranked on any of the recruiting platforms, but he's a 6'7 small forward, but UCLA has him listed as a guard and a forward. In July 2022, he played for Italy at the FIBA Under-20 European Championship, averaging 9.4 points, 2.1 rebounds, and 1.4 assists in seven games. He's a skilled player who can play multiple positions in college, he can handle the ball well, and he has a solid jump shot. UCLA lost one of their key players, which was Johnny Juzang, who's the team's leading scorer this past season. He was averaging 15.6 points per game. During his junior season at UCLA, he earned first team all Pac-12. He was one of five players named as a finalist for the Jerry West Shooting Guard of the Year Award and was ranked number three in the Pac-12 in scoring average. And on the UCLA's all-time scoring list in the NCAA tournament, he ranks 10th with 175 four points and nine games. He was a big part of UCLA's success last season and losing your leading score is not good for any team. He won undrafted and signed a two-way contract with the Utah Jazz so hopefully he has a long successful career. One key player that's still on the roster is Hawkes Jr. He's returning for his senior year and he was the team's leading rebounder with 5.7 rebounds per game and he was the second leading scorer on the team with 13.9 points per game. He earned first team all Pac-12 conference honors and Pac-12 all defensive team honors this past season. Season. He will be a leader for the recruits coming in, and he's a fan favorite for UCLA. He could end up being the leading scorer for this team this upcoming season. Another key player who I believe will be a big part of UCLA's success this upcoming season is Tiger Campbell, who averaged 11.9 points per game and led the team in assists with 4.3 assists per game. I expect him to go off this season, and I think he's going to get a lot more assists. He could average around 8 assists per game, but what do y'all think, plugins? Do y'all think his assist total will double this season? Let me know in the comments. UCLA has a solid team team i see them making it back to the sweet 16 or maybe the elite eight it's a lot of talented teams going into the season so i don't see them winning a national championship but with a talented player like amari bailey on the roster they should be able to make some noise in the march madness tournament but what do y'all think plugins will ucla make it to the elite eight this upcoming season or will they only make it to the sweet 16 drop y'all opinions in the comments ucla fans how do y'all feel about this team going into the season do y'all think it's y'all year to win it all let me know how y'all feel in the comments make sure you turn on post notifications so y'all know when i post i know i've been gone for a while i'm gonna try and be consistent and drop some videos for y'all i appreciate y'all and i'll see you in the next video till next time